Yes, hi, here we're back again. This is Anlaise from photoacademy.eu. Well, my partner Dirk is just behind the camera, busy on taking the videos. Thanks, Dirk. <laughs> what we're going to do today is to show you a little bit of experience out of the photographical life. Well, and over here we've got the object of our experience. This is something you need um, outside, inside, for studio photo photography, for all kinds of photography. And it's a pop-up reflector. You do need it uh, to brighten up the light or sometimes to darken the light in um, portrait photo photography. Or if you don't want to have the shadows beneath the skin or uh, from the nose or something like this, you need such a reflector. They've got different surfaces, black and white or golden or silver, whatever. We're not going to talk about this today. We're going to talk about technical problems. Okay, I can already see you smiling, a uh, woman and technical problems. Yeah, that's it. The women always have technical problems, no wonder. But let me tell you one thing, even my male partners and my male colleagues have problems with such an object, with a, such a reflector. Uh, these technical problems um, don't divide between male and female. They are there for everyone, not knowing about them. Okay, first problem we've got over here is to get this thing outside. Well, very easy, you open this little bag and you get it outside. There we are. Okay, now, from the experience of many photographers, be careful. This thing is a uh, real fight with the technique and this thing is a little bit nasty. It might happen that you are hit by it and smacked by it and when you're close to your face you might just see nothing at all and um, it's really hitting you. So always take a distance between this nasty little guy and yourself like this because just what what's going to happen now you see how this thing really blows it just gets outside a sort of an explosion and you if you've got it close to your face or to a body or if someone is beside you you're really hit by this nasty little guy <coughs> so always really it can be only recommended get a distance between this and you when opening it. You, you, cannot, you don't know uh, in advance how this is working and how this is getting to the full size. Okay, now there you are, it's just a sort, this is a black surface now. Um, it's all sort of uh, shapes. You can have a round circle, it can be smaller, it can be larger. Well, okay, we have taken this one just to show you over here for a short view as the silver side, for example. Well, and if you look down at the ground over here now, um, the lawn and the little flowers over here, you can see a little bit this reflector working. Um, they, oof, it's the wind blowing over here. They brighten things up now. The sun is coming from my right side over here hits the reflector and thus the light gets down so it's a little bit brighter down here. This is one of the effects why you need it, whether it's outside or inside. Okay, well, we sa I said we are going to talk on technical problems. You have seen the first one, now there is the second one. You have got a beautiful reflector but It has to get back inside this bag. This is the bag of the reflector, you know, and you just don't want to walk maybe outside with such a reflector in your hand, you know, just watch how the wind is blowing it over here. Yes, how can you get this big stuff inside that little ba bag again? This is the problem. And mind you, you are not being told on how you manage it to get it back inside its bag. I know a male partner once, he had opened his reflector and it was put in the living room for several years. He was just looking in internet uh, everywhere around with the question, how can you manage to get this thing inside now? Okay, first thing you do is you try it like this. Oh yes, this works great. And 
uh, no, no way this syrup doesn't work and you, yeah, no way to put it in this small bag. Okay, this doesn't work. Maybe it works the other way around. Yeah, this is absolutely perfect. But that's it, you know, you can see it over here and no way to put it inside there. And you can try out any other way. You won't be able like this to get it back in this bag over here. How is it going to work? Okay, just watch at what I'm going to do now. I take this reflector this way and just look at my hands. Yeah, try it like this. They are differently. Over here is the thumb. Over here are the rest of my fingers. Okay, now you turn it round. You're fighting with the technique. <laughs> Maybe sort of this. Yes. There you are. Okay, with some problems. You really have to experiment with this. But over here is the reflector. Um, in, the, in that size that finally fits into this bag. So you really have to work on it, turn it like an eight and then put it together and then you can put it back into this case. I hope you um, have that you have learned a little bit on uh, these reflectors. A small tip from experience so far by